youth of Zimbabwe have a very critical role to play in the development of the country. They have a political duty, they have an economic responsibility, as well as a social uh, challenge to participate in the affairs of the country. Before, a lot of programs were built around equipping young people with skills, but these skills perhaps have not served them well in terms of the areas that they should really be directed into. Let's look at agriculture. Let's look at mining. We need to get our young people involved in these very critical sectors of our country. Obviously, there are many other sectors that we must get involved in. Uh, manufacturing sector, the IT industry, which is your fourth industrial revolution. We need to bring up our youngsters in uh, all the other fields of endeavor that are there in our country. We've done well in terms of building uh, political scientists, or lawyers, medical personnel, and so forth. But we need to continue to broaden this range. But I want to particularly appeal again to our young people, especially those who might not have that intellectual capacity or gift, not to ignore the psychometer. There is something built in our young people, in fact, all of us as human beings, the capacity to do things for ourselves. What is it that you pursue? There are moments when your parents might want you to be a lawyer, but you feel, I want to be a mechanic. Your parents wanted, they wanted to be doctors, but they want to transfer the responsibility to you to do medicine. Stick to your area that you're comfortable with. I also want to um, appreciate the role most of the young people have played in our country. But it's not just them, but generations before them. The liberation of Zimbabwe was made possible by the youth who fought for Zimbabwe to be independent. It is on that basis, young people must also prepare themselves to fight the next level of the fight, which is economy, which is about to bring development to Zimbabwe. All the things that they see elsewhere in the world, we need to build in Zimbabwe. And that cannot be subcontracted. You can't ask that responsibility to be transferred to other people. It is you, the youth of our country, who have a duty to build, to enjoy, as well as to bequeath that heritage to generations that are coming. So every generation has a duty. Either you betray or you succeed. We want our young people to succeed in their fields of endeavor. We want our young people to take the responsibility of running their economy, running their country, and being at the forefront of the debate, the political debate in our country. Cannot succeed if you don't take part. The 23rd plebiscite, the elections, will work and give us a resounding victory if the youth of our country come out in their numbers, cast their votes. You must always think about the future. Is the candidate I'm voting for aligned with my aspirations going forward? Is the candidate I'm voting for, do I feel a connection? Do I feel that there is something for us? If not, stand firm, stand for your principle, on principle, go for that candidate who has sold a message to you, who has given you their promise that Zimbabwe will work for young people. I've been a youth minister before. I'm very well aware of the young people in our great country, the massive skills that they have, some born with them, some acquired, and so forth. They should be harnessed to produce and make Zimbabwe the Zimbabwe we want. And that Zimbabwe we want is certainly on your shoulders. Every demographic must do what it is to do, which is play its part in developing a nation. Allow me also to salute the young people in the defense forces, in the security forces. The battle for young people are playing an important role in the defense of our country. We know, of course, some have lost their jobs. Some were just kicked out because others felt we don't want these people. We will ensure that we look after those young people who were treated badly, young people who must be rehabilitated, young people who need their pensions, young people who had a role to play in developing the country. We shall look at justice and fairness in terms of how the youth were treated in various areas. This goes for even the young people who were in the ministry, employee of the ministry and so forth, who were just 
summarily terminated their, their duties. We cannot and we should not treat others as if we are not Zimbabweans. Allow me once again to thank the young people of Zimbabwe. You have a duty. Young people in Jimbuizi, we know you are there. Young people in Matobo, we know you are there. Young people in Binga, we know you are there. Young people in uh, Gwanda, we know the miners in Filabusi. We know of the young people who are trying to make a living in the Nyanga, Nyatati area. We all have a duty to come together. The cotton farmers in Guruwe, the cotton farmers in Mzarabani, the cotton farmers in Gokwe, youth of our country. Be ready to play your part. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mambo, 